Hey, in this video, I'm gonna share with you what is a REIT, a real estate investment trust, what it really means, and why or why not you should invest in one. My name is Rob Loof, and I help people start and scale the real estate investing business from zero to five deals per month online. Now, let's get into the content. What is a REIT, real estate investment trust? So REITs are fairly new. REITs actually came to market in the 1960s. So they haven't been around too long. And what a REIT really is, is a company that holds, uh, buys and holds commercial assets and then sells off stock so that you can be a part of it at a small scale. So it's literally exactly, almost exactly like buying a stock in the stock market, or like if you're buying a stock of Apple or Facebook or, or anything. And except for the stock that you're buying owns commercial properties and real estate. And it's not typically one property, it's many properties in a portfolio and um, it's cash flowing assets. So you're investing into a company that owns a bunch of assets. They essentially use your money to manage and buy more assets. Now there's a lot of pros and cons to REITs. And in my opinion, I think REITs are dumb, <laughs> okay? I think you don't get any of the benefits from buying real estate from buying a REIT. So let me, let me go into why some of the pros and cons. By the way, this is not financial advice at all. I'm not a financial guru or anything. I'm simply giving my feedback. <laughs> I got a little full disclaimer there. So the pros of buying a REIT is you could low barrier to entry, meaning you could invest 500 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks, 10,000 bucks, obviously depending on the stock and the value and things like this. Another pro is if you really don't know or don't want to like figure out real estate on your own, and you really just wanna have your money in real estate, a REIT's a very simple way to just park some money in there and it's in a real estate business, so to speak. Transparency is also another big thing, even though I don't like love the transparency aspect of the stock market, okay, and, and these companies sharing their statements and stuff is not, doesn't seem like it's always uh, beneficial for the stockholders, but anyways, it is transparency. You can see the earnings of this real estate company and you can see their profit and loss and the, all the assets they have. So you know exactly what you're putting your money into. You typically get some stable cash flows through dividends. It's not much, um, depending obviously on how much money you have invested, but there is some cash flow aspect to owning a REIT. Now, what are some of the cons? Why should you not buy a REIT? Well, you don't get any of the tax benefits. It's simply just like buying a stock. So if you get dividends or if you get any returns on it, it's just treated as active income and you pay a high tax value. Also, you don't physically own the asset and you don't get any equity rights to it. You do get payouts based on how the company performs, but if the company buys a good asset and then manages it poorly, even if the asset grows in value, the company could not pay you out for the equity on the asset because they didn't manage their money or they didn't manage the business correctly. You're also subject to market risk and you're subject to that company's risk in the market. If you own your real estate or you and a partner own a real estate, um, you can kind of control things quicker. If you see the market going down, you can sell it, you can refinance it, you can do something, or you can maybe rent it higher, whatever. When, when you put your money with a company like that, uh, they might have a whole different philosophy than you and the market might be turning and you might get a very rude awakening. Also with REITs, the cons are there's there's management fees typically. So it takes away from your profit that your, your hard earned money that you're investing. And I don't like that. So overall, a REIT is good if you just wanna kinda of get into the game. You really don't wanna figure out this real estate stuff on your own. You don't wanna learn about it. You don't wanna find a partner, that's fine. There's many people that do that. And I'm sure there's people out there killing it with REITs. So it's not to bash in general on REITs. This is just pure real estate uh, investor type of advice. If you had a certain amount of money, probably over $50,000, instead of investing in a REIT, you can invest in your own property. You're gonna get more equity. You could probably rent it and make more cash flow than a REIT can offer. You could refinance it. You could eventually pay it off. You can uh, eventually get a home equity line of credit. You could do so many things with this investment here than in the REIT there um, kind of a little bit of a gamble. So anyways, that's my advice on REITs. And again, this is not financial advice, whether or whether or not you should buy REITs. If you notice, I didn't even say any of the company names, but I would go out there, do your own research, do your own diligence. If you want to invest in real estate and go out there and just stop 
waiting and start doing, okay? It's 2021, the market is on fire. Yes, it's crazy, the prices are crazy, but go out there and crush it. If you wanna get into the game, do it now. I'll see you on the next video, peace.